Hi, I'm Kathy Kiley, and welcome back to The Big Orange Couch. Today, we are absolutely thrilled to have with us Joseph Reculia. He's the co-founder of Agency Spotter, which is a brand new company that you need to know about. Welcome to The Big Orange Couch, Joseph. Thanks, really excited to be here. What is Agency Spotter, and what problem does it solve that made you create this new company? Sure. So Agency Spotter, what we are is an online marketplace where brands come to search, compare, and connect with creative agencies. And you know, we've defined creative agencies to be the world of advertising, design, digital, PR, research, and other agencies. And really, for my longtime friend and co-founder, Brian, it really came down to passion and the luck of timing for us to put this all together. What happened was I had just moved back to Boston from New York, and when Brian and I first connected about this idea, we realized that we both had been experiencing the frustration of what it's like in our own careers to find the agencies we need to hire. Um, Brian was at Coca-Cola down in Atlanta. I was at American Express in New York. At the same time, Brian had also started his own design firm and saw firsthand how challenging it is for a small to medium-sized agency to scale and grow. So one of the things you and I talked about is that this, there's a shift now. In, in, there's a new trend where agencies are no longer looking for the one big agency that's going to do everything. They're looking for niche agencies that are going to give, provide different services. How does Agency Spotter help with that? Brand marketers are really realizing that they want a more specialized roster of experts who can do the specific things they're looking for, especially with digital and design, and let alone the fact that there's now over 120,000 agencies in the U.S., how do you even begin? And so that's really where Agency Spotter comes into play, making it super simple for you to find an agency that fits the, the microservice that you're looking for. It's as simple as just using our drop-down menu and saying, I need somebody who does branding, mobile, and social media, and we'll only show you those agencies that do that as their core service. That's what they're best at. What would you say is the typical time? wasted and it is wasted I mean, people are busy so for a CMO typically how long does it take for a typical old-fashioned search brand marketers have been spending three to six months and I did this myself three to six months to find the right agency partner and if you think about that that's not just time that's money that's opportunity cost of your campaign or product in market before you even start to work on it so when you call on an agency and they're not easy people to call. <laughs> so when you call on an agency and you introduce them to this concept, what's the pushback? Because I, I can imagine there's pushback. Yes, well, every agency is extremely busy, which is great for them. And so maybe the first pushback is, this is more time. I don't know if we can do this. And you know, we've got a great response, which is basically, we've taken all the work out of it for you. It's kind of a no-brainer because we automatically build your portfolio for you in a way that all you have to do is basically claim it, verify the information, and change anything you'd like. And then you've got this really great permanent promotional presence in a place where brand marketers are looking for you. So when an agency signs on, they get their work up. Can they get more deeply involved at different levels, depending on how they're you know, finding the service. Yeah, so agencies have a, a lot of ways of how they can be engaged with the site. On the very simplistic end of the spectrum, they can just put their stuff up there and let it sit, and they can be found and contacted that way, which is happening. But a lot of agencies do get a little bit more engaged by keeping their portfolio more up to date with recent awards, speaking events, um, keeping their portfolio of videos and images of their recent work up there as well. And they're also engaging by sharing their portfolio a lot, which really helps the viralness of the site. Yeah. You have another um, feature on the site, and it's a button that says trending. Mm -hmm. And that, I loved that when I was playing with the site. I think if I were CMO, that button alone excited me. Talk a little bit about that. Everybody likes to know what's hot, basically. We all like a little bit of gossip and know what's going on in the news. It's also just another avenue for search. Sometimes you don't know what you're not necessarily looking for. You're just in the mood to explore. So we make it possible to see what's happening on the site. You know, we are a platform where we collect data and see what is happening, and we can now share with you as a user, okay, which agencies are trending with the most views or were recently reviewed or have the most portfolio work or maybe an agency that's been shared the most virally. The other fun feature was that if you're a CMO looking for an agency or, or a service, or you can look and see how you're connected to them and then get some candid feedback 
on that company, which I think is brilliant. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, sure. There's a couple things that are really unique about Agency Spotter, and that's the one that brand marketers love the most. So what we do is we show you how you're connected to an agency, helping you pinpoint the right person to go talk to and get more information about that agency, really speeding up the word of mouth validation process. One of the things I love about it as president of the Ad Club and, and the Trade Association for Everyone in Marketing, well, I love the fact that what it does and could do is keep Boston brands, New England brands, with New England and Massachusetts agencies. Talk a little bit about how you see that could help. Yeah, so you know, that's one of the really exciting things of getting to work with the Ad Club, which is sort of why I was tweeting you to hopefully meet you one day on this big orange couch, is that there is a lot of value in these mini ecosystems across the country, Boston being one of the more dynamic ones too. And you know, we're going to add a lot of value together and we're really excited about helping your Ad Club members find those Boston and New England based agencies through a new feature on your site that lets you search and filter to find them and engage them quicker that way. Thank you for tweeting at me and getting on the Big Orange Couch. I'm thrilled and we wish you great success with Agency Splatter. And I'm looking forward to our personal partnership. I think that's going to be a great added value for our members. And if you have not been on the website to see Agency Splatter, it's agencyspotter.com. Easy, very easy to find. Spend some time on it. And if Joseph Reculia shows up at your agency, please be nice to him. Welcome him because it's all, all part of growing Boston and keeping business here, so we appreciate that. And thank you once again for joining us on the Big Orange Couch.